Spitfire Audio has listened to what people have been asking for and finally released the latest in their original series, Epic Choir. If you're not familiar with the Spitfire Originals, they're a collection of sample libraries all for $29. They range from piano to pads to strings, brass, woodwinds, and now we can finally add choir to that list. Now the Epic Choir falls in line with some of their other Epic libraries, more specifically the Epic Strings and Epic Brass and Woodwinds. This is a really exciting addition to the original series because we can now finally start rounding out the orchestra. We have the strings, we have the brass and woodwinds and pads and pianos and pianos and pianos. But in this Spitfire Audio ecosystem, a good inexpensive choir library is gonna be a bit harder to come by. You can usually find a blockbuster worthy choir library at a high price tag, or you can find a cheaper alternative but it might be more experimental, maybe smaller in size, or it comes part of a larger library. For example, the Eric Whitaker Choir is like a crown jewel of choir libraries, but it's also going to be $599. Spitfire Labs also has free choir libraries, but because they're free, they are going to be a little bit more limited in what you can actually do with them. And then we have Albion Solstice and the London Contemporary Orchestra Textures. These choirs are going to be a bit more experimental and they aren't really solo choir libraries. They come as part of a larger package. If this epic choir can live up to its name, I think it can hit that sweet spot of full epic blockbuster choir at a reasonable price point. And before we dive in, my name is Robert Rodriguez and I'm a composer and orchestrator. And if you are looking to learn how to write for a bunch of different genres of music in film or television, then I just wanna offer you my free composer reference guide. It's gonna break down the basics of action, horror, fantasy music into quick and easy bullet points designed to get you composing quickly. So if you are interested, I left a link in the description down below. So I opened up Epic Choirs in Logic Pro and it's gonna have a very similar layout to a lot of the other original libraries. We have expression and the mod wheel up on the top left. This large knob in the center is going to be really a quick and easy access to these three knobs down here, reverb, release, and tightness. And then on the bottom left, we're going to have the close tree and ethereal mic signals. And this ethereal signal is going to give us a brighter, wider, and just more saturated sound, which I'm very excited to try. And I know that the Epic Choir is supposed to be a 50 member ensemble, all recorded in the Air Studios Lyndhurst Hall. And remember, this is gonna be a full choir. You're gonna get sopranos, altos, tenors, and basses, and the download size is just under three gigs. So that's gonna be great for your internal storage or if you have an external hard drive or SSD. All right, so we're gonna have a few different presets to go through, but what's nice is that they are separated into sopranos and altos and then tenors and basses. So let's stick with the very first and default preset, sopranos and altos long ah. And that's a nice release. Yep, it's about 50% there. Okay, and so the close tree is about like 20, 30%. The tree mic is all the way up, no ethereal. Let's just take a listen to what that ethereal mic signal might actually sound like. Remember, it is going to widen the sound. So let's go roughly around like 45.
you can really hear the brightness in that tone. So that is definitely something I would probably keep roughly halfway uh, just to give the the sound a little bit more clarity, a little bit more character as well. Uh, let's go on to mm. Ooh, much, much more intimate. Oh, that's super delicate. I wonder what it would sound like if I raise the close. Honestly, it sounds very similar. What if I add ethereal? Wow, that's such a soft, delicate sound. You might have to really mix and match the the mic signals just to find something that you really like. So let us go to long episodic one. Uh, and just so we know what this is all about, it's gonna episodically change the sustained note, blending between a combination of different vowel sounds for a textural and shifting sound. So my immediate thought is like the evolutions that Spitfire offers. If this kind of works in the same way, then in an original series, we have something that's really uh, unique and something that we are probably not going to see in another choir library. So let's just check this out. Wow. So it really like ebbs and flows, which again, for $29, that is a really nice touch because a lot of cheaper, less expensive choir libraries, it, they're, they're just gonna offer like choir long, choir short, that's it. So the fact that we can start like evolving and, and shifting in sound is great. Does mod affect anything? A little bit, yeah. Combo number two. And this one is just close. And only like 30%, so I wonder... Yeah, so that is a much quieter sound. Because the mic signal is brought down so much already. What I really like about that is that it, it starts off super uh, quiet and angelic. Um, but remember, this is an epic choir, so the fact that it can can shift and change really adds an element of epicness to the choir. Uh, let's go to short staccato syllables. All right, so this is tree or deca tree and a little bit of close. What I love about this is that it's not just 
short ah, uh, short m, mm, short o. Oh. You are changing syllables every single time, which I think creates uh, a more cinematic feel for your choir. What if I were to add ethereal? Maybe bring it up a little bit. And if I were to increase reverb. Yeah, you really get the sound of Air Studios. Of course, this is a little bit overkill, but. Big fan of that one, actually. Okay, and then same thing, but with key switches. I wish I knew what the key switches were. Oh, that is even cooler. So that way, in case we don't want the syllables to change, we can key switch which we are looking for. Those are the six presets that come for the sopranos and altos. Next, let's take a look at the tenors and basses. So let's start off by loading in the long ah. Oh, hello, hello. Ah, oh, there's something about the sound of like a men's choir that's just really, really rich. Uh, and it's a Deca tree with a little bit of close mic. Oh, and the dynamic layering of that is really, really good. Super subtle. A little bit more intense. and the release is just right on target. So let's actually bring down the release a little bit. How does that affect it? Still really good. Let's increase reverb. Let's keep release around 20 or so. and you can really hear that tail. And ethereal, let's not forget, maybe bring this down a little bit to a realistic area, release, and tightness. Let's actually add that. So when tightness is down to zero, you can almost hear the build that the choir goes through, but when you increase it all the way up, it's almost just like a straight tone. Yeah, so we can even see a little description. This cuts further into the note to make it tighter, but does reduce realism. All right, so that's a long ah. Then we have the mm. Just such a delicate sound. All right, so we have long episodic combo number one.
Honestly, I would increase the reverb there, if not the release. What I think I really love about these episodic um, combinations is that they're not necessarily locked together. So you can kind of create this moving flow between voices. And I'm guessing number two would be similar. Let's add more reverb. All right, so the mod wheel does affect it. I wasn't sure. Let's move on to short staccato syllables. And so kind of like with the sopranos and altos, we will be getting uh, changing syllables. Again, this is such a cool addition to um, to an inexpensive choir library to have changing syllables. And then if this is anything like before, we have the key switches down at the bottom and then can kind of control what it is they're saying. Yeah, I like it more at the bottom then. You don't really have control of release. Tightness is at 50, interesting. Okay, and then reverb. Really nice. Of course, you can add in your own reverb as well, so you don't have to just stick with what we have here. So let's bring it down just a bit and add in ethereal. Yeah, you can really hear that it's almost like uh, a crispier sound. And let's just try another key switch. I honestly don't care for the sound um, for these short ones, because it almost has like a like a s at the at the start of each note. So I don't want that brightness to come through any more than it already does. So let's turn this off. And then let's try another key switch. The close mics really make a difference. Gives it more of a of a background with the tree, and of course, I think close was a little bit around here. Because you don't want to lose the clarity either. All right, and so those are all 12 of the presets for sopranos, altos, tenors, and basses. And what is nice about just the originals layout, you can star whichever ones you like. So if I were to go like this, there you have your favorites. You can specifically choose alto or bass or tenor or soprano. Although I don't really see a difference in choosing soprano and then alto because they're together. Uh, and then we can do episodic, which I think is a really nice touch. We can just choose any of these four. We have the longs, we have the shorts, and then soprano and tenor. And of course, you can save these as your own presets, and then that would show up under user presets. And so that was a first look at the Epic Choir. So I'm really glad that Spitfire has finally released this epic choir library. I think it 
gives us everything that we need to add a good sounding choir into our music at a good price. And I know that the originals are always $29. Like that's not what's surprising about this, but the fact that we actually have a full on blockbuster choir library that isn't gonna cost me hundreds of dollars. Like this is something that I've wanted for such a long time now. Spitfire Audio is just one of the top players in this sample developer space, not only because they offer premium high quality libraries, but because they have high quality libraries for everybody's budget. Like they have products that are a few hundred dollars, $99, $29, and all of their labs are absolutely free. So really anybody could just start writing music thanks to a lot of the Spitfire products. And if you wanna take a next step and see which original string library is perfect for your next collection, then you'll want to see my cinematic frozen string versus intimate string comparison video. So I'll see you over there and as always, happy composing.